Hello, everyone who is joining. Just give us a moment to let everyone join. Put everyone on mute, and then we'll start shortly. I'm going to turn people's videos on so we can see them. All right, we'll be starting shortly here. Just waiting for anyone who might be a little late uh, because I'll have to admit them. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Carla. <laughs> so if everyone can just keep yourself on mute throughout the lecture so there's not a lot of background noise, it's not too distracting. And then in the demo portion, feel free to be a little bit more interactive and you can go off mute if you have a question. Um, but for the lecture, we're just trying to keep the background sounds to a minimum. And we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay. Somebody else wanted to be in. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. If someone admits, I have to go in and make sure they can get in. So I just want to make sure everyone can get in before we get started. Then we don't have to stop. I think that should be okay. Oh, right <laughs> as I said that. Hold on. <laughs> For anyone who's just now joining, again, please just keep yourselves on mute during the lecture portion. Oh, yep. We'll just give it a couple minutes because I think we're still waiting for about eight people. So once we get started, we don't like to stop, <laughs> get our flow. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Good? Thumbs up? <laughs> good. Yay. So good to see everyone, even if it is through a computer screen. <laughs> Second. <clears throat> see a lot of familiar faces and I see a lot of new faces. So that's always fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Sorry, we're just waiting for everyone to join here. Okay. We're still missing a few, but I think we're gonna get started. If I have to pause and admit, please just be. If you hear a ding dong, that means somebody's <laughs> waiting at the door and we'll have to go in and let them in. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Thank you so much for everyone for spending your time with us today. We know how valuable your time is, and we are so excited to teach this great class to you guys. So we are Kelly and Joya, <laughs> mother and daughter, and we own California Skin Care Supply together. We are a three-generation female family-owned business, which I started with my mom, way back in 1990. Um, at the time, we were born out of the necessity to find the best brands for our spa. Um, our spa was one of the first um, skincare uh, treatment rooms open in the Bay Area in California, and we specialized in acne. At that time in 1990, there were a lot less professional skincare brands on the market, and we became... Um, a distributor <laughs> out of the necessary we, we did really a worldwide search for the most effective brand um, to give us the results that we needed to treat acne and if you fast forward now 30 years later um, we distribute over 40 brands that we love and feel are extremely effective that uses the best technology science and nature to create the best brands and equipment. We do also carry uh, a full equipment line as well as many handheld devices um, for the esthetician to both sell and use in her back bar. So this kind of led us to this super unique line. Um, this class is on the wonderful and unique line of 2B Bio Beauty. Today, you're going to learn all about this innovative peel and brand. You're going to see the entire brand is kind of centered around the 2B Bio Peel. The 2B Bio Peel is an organic, 
all natural peel that works by activating the exfoliation process from within the skin. So it's kind of working from the inside out. Um, and just so y'all knew, no, we set up uh, three starter kits for 2B Bio and we put them on sale on our website for you. We will keep those on sale um, through Wednesday at midnight, Thursday morning, we'll take them down. So they're discounted for you there. So just remember to take advantage of that. Um, we did launch a new and improved website this last September, um, and we have added a lot of new products as well. We're going to continue. I'm always out on the hunt for new um, product lines that I think that our estheticians will love. Um, I added a what's new section now just recently, so always check that out on the website. If you have not been on the website since September, um, but you used to visit our old website, when you go to the website, you'll have to say that you forgot your password, and then the new website will send you directions on how to update that. Um, if you're new, you just go in and create an account, and it's super easy. It'll walk you through the three easy steps it takes um, for you to be able to see the wholesale prices and take advantage of all of our sales. Um, on that website, we have a free online learning center that you're welcome to take advantage of. We are also constantly working on new demo videos that also lives under the tab education under um, CSS Video Learning Center. We do post our Zoom classes there too. Um, so you can go back and watch some old Zoom classes if you want to learn something new. Um, and then we have uh, lots of demo videos that we've done at trade shows and just here in our facility. So take advantage of that as well. Okay, we're going to get started here shortly. Um, please I have a lot of time for questions during the demo and then it'll be a little bit more interactive so if you could just hold your questions until the demo portion of the class then we'll get to all of them and if you have not yet please um, remove the tape off of your samples that we sent you for the kit and once again thank you so much for joining us and we know you're going to love this peel and these products as much as we do so after you take up all your tape don't worry about what order the products go in we will go over all of that for you when we go over the steps of the peel before we do the peel we will give you explicit instructions on how to line up the products um, to give the treatment. Um, so just a little background behind 2B Bio. This peel is used as an alternative to microdermabrasion and microneedling. microneedling. It's giving amazing results for all skin types, all skin concerns, and all Fitzpatrick. So literally anyone who comes through your door, you can treat with this peel and not have to worry about that. It's also an amazing peel for scarring to treat anti-aging, to treat uh, acne, to treat hyperpigmentation. Um, it was created by the company called Live Invest Cosmetics, who actually come um, from Belgium. It was created in 1987, so it's been around just about as long as we have um, by Jean-Michel Liepert. And the company was really, oops, oops. <laughs> since their um, creation, they have been dedicated to creating just the best products to support this very unique peel. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, my... Okay, before marketing, all products have been certified and authorized by the Belgium Ministry of Health, as well as the FDA. It's pretty rare that you have a brand that is authorized by both. Sorry, I'm just going to try and get this so it's not covering our screen. <laughs> Okay, to be or not to be. One, um, here's some of the pros about to be bio. So I don't like to say no downtime. I like to say it's a controlled downtime. Sorry, someone is entering the class. Um, so I don't like to say no downtime. I like to say it's a controlled downtime. If you don't want any downtime needed, you it's all in the control of the practitioner. If you do want to achieve some more heavy peeling, you can achieve that. And we'll get into how you can do that later in the slide. Uh, there is no equipment needed except for your hands. It's medical grade and it's 100% safe for all skin types.
This peel will provide lasting results, especially when done in a series. And we really stress that's how you're gonna get the best results with this peel. Um, it is 100% organic and natural. Um, once again, it's very completely original due to the spicules that you're embedding into the skin. And then of course, it is a manual peel, manual and mechanical. So we all know downtime can be rough. Not every client wants to go through downtime. Um, so with this peel, it's very unique that you can control how much downtime is acquired. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, <laughs> it just really depends on the pressure that you use. We'll go through the three steps that will affect the outcome and the downtime. When we talk about downtime, we're talking about downtime that you would get with a mid-depth peel. This peel really stays in the upper layers of the epidermis, but you can get peeling. Um, why is there no downtime? It's because of the nature of the ingredients in the 2B bio peel. Um, of course, it causes an abrasion of the outer layers of the skin. And what makes it so original is that um, it's peeling lies in the presence of the microneedles that penetrate into the skin. And what happens then is it creates an inflammatory response. And then our body works very hard to reject those foreign bodies or spicules that are embedded into the skin. Thereby the exfoliation process starts from the inside out. Um, and our bo body works very hard, creating an um, immense amount of ATP and really spills out collagen and works as a filler really because your body is creating collagen um, very fast to uh, heal from this controlled wound. Um, a few facts about microdermabrasion. We all know as estheticians, microdermabrasion has been around for a long time. Um, because this peel is done in two steps, the first portion of the peel, you're massaging it in, which gives a microdermabrasion type effect. Um, the word micro is used to separate microdermabrasion, this procedure from to, true dermabrasion, which is going to go much deeper into the skin. Um, it is important not to go deep. We, we need to stay in the upper layers of the stratum corneum, which is what you will be um, achieving with this peel. A little bit more. So not only does the 2B bio peel give a microdermabrasion like effect, you're also getting a microneedling like effect as well. So you're getting the best of both worlds just with this one peel. So the aggressiveness of the peel depends on three things. Um, the peel is manually applied and massage, causing the microdermabrasion and microneedling effect. The penetration of the peeling into the skin is all in the control of the esthetician or pract practitioner and will depend on these three things. The pressure that is exercised when the peel is being penetrated, obviously how hard you're pushing those spicules into the skin. The more pressure you use, the stronger the peel is going to be. The lighter you go, the more gentle the peel is going to be. The duration of the massage or pressing movements and the duration of the drying time, the longer you leave this to be bio peel on the skin and it, the color is gonna be what clues you, the lighter it gets, you know it's starting to dry, the more aggressive it's going to be and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to remove as well. Um, so when it's starting to dry, it's then you're gonna get a clue that, okay, now it might be time to start the removal process. The third and final is the fluidity of the powder. Um, the more, this is the prep, but the more prep you pour into the powder, the more diluted the powder, the spicules are going to be, therefore the less aggressive it's going to be. So if you want it a little more aggressive, then you're going to go a little bit thicker. If you want it a little bit more gentle, then you're going to add more prep.
2B Bio is a medical grade um, skincare line. What is medical grade? Uh, medical grade products are tested for biocompatibility and are appropriate to be used for medical applications. In the United States, the FDA regulates all materials used in um, the medical and cosmetic industry. As Julia um, said before, the 2B Bio Peel beauty line is one of the few skincare lines in the United States that's both um, FDA approved and it is also certified and authorized by the Belgian Ministry of Health. Why and how is this peel 100% organic? You want to hand me the peel? So mm -hmm. all comes in this little packet. It is not a sample. <laughs> yes, is the peel. <laughs> this is the peel. It comes in a packet of 30. Um, so most products on the market have some type of preservative system. Even an organic line is going to have some type of preservative system. The 2B Bio Peel is very unique because it is sealed by gamma ray. Um, so this is gamma ray will kill all bacteria. Um, and this product will contain, um, will be completely organic and it contains no acids and is preservative free. Why is this product original? Um, you don't find many peels that have zero acids. It's not enzymatic. It's all about the spicules. And it's also giving that microdermabrasion and microneedling like effect. Um, you also don't find many peels that can be used on all Fitzpatrick's and all skin types. This product is completely amazing for acneic skin. It actually almost does your extractions for you. It's amazing for anti-aging. It's very plumping, especially in the jowl area. Also amazing for hyperpigmentation. It's great for bringing the hyperpigmentation to the surface and then treating that hyperpigmentation. I myself am very sensitive. I have a very reactive skin and I can still use this peel no problem, which is unique to me. So it can be used literally on everyone who walks through your door. It's kind of like every esthetician's toolbox. It can be used on everyone for a deep yet safe exfoliation. So the 2B Bio Peel can be done in two different ways. You can use it as a beauty treatment, like a one-shot beauty treatment for someone who comes in, say they have a wedding or an event the next day. Or they just want to look really good. Or they good. just want to look glowing. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you can do it in one, one treatment, or if you have someone who comes in and they want a little bit more of a significant improvement into their skin, you can do it as a cure with six treatments done weekly up to twice a year. If you do have a little bit more of a sensitive client, I would do every other week instead of every week. And we also find usually by the third peel, um, if you're doing it in a cure by the third week, the third period peel, you're going to get more peeling um, around the third or fourth. They start building on each yes, other. Yes, they start building. So what is the 2B bio? <laughs> <laughs> the secret here is the secret of the formula. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just remember that each of these ingredients, they're sifted together multiple times into a spicule. Um, the first ingredient is a sweet water sponge. And it's really important to call out that this is a sweet water sponge and not a salt water sponge. Um, salt water sponges are very common and their edges are very jagged and can tear the skin. A sweet water sponge, the edges are smooth and no tearing of the skin will happen. Um, the sweet water sponge gives the peel the natural micro needles. Um, which provides a control reaction in the epidermis. So what happens is this sponge is harvested and then it is dried and then it is finely ground. Um, these abrasive spicules in the sweet water sponge can be seen as a definite spicule under a microscope. Also to note, the sponge is very unique because it contains oligio elements like iodine, bromine, aluminum, carbonates and phosphates, all of these ingredients will have an effect, a stimulating effect on the cellular me metabolism. 
So think of the sponge as the microneedling portion. Um, then they combine it with lava. Um, the lava uses the microcrystals of volcanic slag, and that will give a mechanical peeling effect. Combined with crystallized quartz, those are tiny silica granules with sharp beads. So these will also cause a mechanical effect. They bind all of these ingredients with two binders. They use acacia gum and arrowroot. And as the ingredients are sifting together, they get bound. Um, they also have two anti-inflammatory ingredients. They use horsetail, which is very antibacterial. Um, and then they also use calendula, which is very moisturizing, soothing, and calming. Now we're gonna get into the actual products. The 2B Bio Beauty brand is all focused on the peel. So every product, you'll see that this is a very succinct, it is not a large brand. Every product is made to be used with the 2B Bio peel and to be used at home when you're doing a series. Although we found out over the years that people just actually fall in love with the products and would like to continue using them. Um, so all of these products that we are going to discuss now are used to give the professional treatment and then are also retailed to your clientele to extend the healing process um, and the collagen um, boosting process while you're going through a series. They're all available in both a professional size and a retail size. What you're gonna see here in the pictures are all retail sizes. Um, and we're gonna be using 90% of these during the treatment. Don't worry yet about looking at all your samples. We will line them up all together before we start the treatment. So the first would be the BioNet. This is one of my favorite cl uh, cleansers. I use this personally at home. Um, it eliminates all traces of makeup from your face and it's an excellent waterproof mascara removal, which is nice because a lot of times with waterproof makeup, as we all know, you have to sell a separate eye makeup remover. Not the case with this. It will remove all makeup very easily. It's very nourishing, really creamy and smells wonderful. The secret of the formula is red vine botanical extract with which provides tonic and antiseptic virtues and then cucumber which is both soothing emollient and astringent. The second cleanser, and this is also going to be your second cleanse in the treatment, is the BioPret. Again, this is the retail size. The professional would look more like this. This is a gel-based cleanser, and it has really nice suds to it. Um, and it using it's using salicylic acid and mint, and it gives a really intense, fresh feeling after you're done using it. Um, I love to recommend this cleanse this cleanser for men to use after or prior to shaving because it really helps prevent against ingrown hairs and just leaves you feeling very, very clean. And refreshed. And refreshed. <laughs> so uh, TV Bio has two balancing lotions. Um, you will actually use both of them in the treatment, but for home use, the Bio Desur is more for dry, sensitive skin, and it completes the makeup removal. Um, it also reinforces the barrier function, so it's excellent for dry or sensitive or rosacea-prone skin, and really helps to ensure the maintenance of the optimum moisture levels of the skin. It contains elder and poppy, which is both soothing and emollient, and the biosaccharide provides a long-lasting moisturizing agent. Next is the BioClarte. This is going to be your second degreaser. The first was that second cleanse, the BioPurette with that salicylic. The BioClarte is going to be your second degreaser for the treatment. It's really going to prep your skin for the peel. Um, it's using Atlas and Watercress, which are both very moisturizing, soothing, and antibacterial. Then it's also using burdock and camphor. I really like this toner or balance lotion to really gauge your client's sensitivity. If they already feel um, a little tingle sensation from the BioClarte or already getting a little pink, then that's your first clue that, okay, this client's obviously a little bit more sensitive. So I'm either A, gonna add more liquid to my peel or B, I'm not gonna press as hard and massage as hard. 
bio gamage gentle exfoliator um, in the treatment this is your second step of exfoliation before the application of the peel and then at home um, it's just going to be what your client is going to use to exfoliate a couple days a week think of this more as a scrub um, traditionally when we think of gomages we think of a product that's going to set up and bead and then we're going to manually remove it this really is um, a scrub. Um, it has simugel in it, which gives it a perfect, like perfectly smooth feel. Um, Alentuan for calming and soothing. And then it has powdered walnut shell, which is also going to be a natural exfoliator and give an abrasive action to the skin. Okay, and then 2B Bio has two cream masks. This is the mask more for acneic and oily skin. It's called the Bio Pure Font. Um, it's actually very soothing as well, which I love. I love using it for like inflamed acne because not only is it antibacterial, it's also going to soothe your client's skin tone. So it's a great one to retail, especially for like a mask knee because a lot of times it's also inflamed from the mask being pressed up against your face, but then it's also uh clogged and it needs it needs help with that um this mask is very creamy it's a clay based mask but it's still so creamy and it'll actually completely absorb into your skin um both of the cream masks well it's using sepi calm which is a very nice calming peptide and enri enriched with magnesium and potassium and it's also very environmentally protecting and protects against pollution stress tobacco. So I absolutely love this mask. Um, it's also using maize, kaolin, and then it's calming with the alentuan and aloe vera. Um, the bio nutrition, we are using this one today in our treatment. Um, you'll find and you'll find it out today when you give yourself this peel, that the peel causes a prickling sensation and you're actually going to feel those spicules in your skin for up to 10, 15 hours. It doesn't hurt, so no one needs to get scared here, but you can definitely feel it. Um, we found that our clients get addicted to that feel because they know that as long as they can feel those spicules that your body is working very hard producing ATP and trying to heal the wound process. Um, during the treatment, the bionutrition mask will help to ease that prickling sensation. Um, it's also very rich and creamy and it helps to repair. Um, at home, you can sleep in this mask. So if you're feeling really dehydrated, um, the heat's been on all this winter, this is an excellent one to retail uh, to your customer to address those situations. Um, it has vitamin A and E, which is of course regenerative. So that's why it's excellent to sleep in as well. Um, also watercress, which is a rich botanical extract. It's also toning and antiseptic, and it has alentuan, which is going to calm and soothe, and camphor, which is going to cause a very refreshing <laughs> sensation mm -hmm. on the skin. Bio Oxygel. This is the hero product in the 2B Bio line. Um, and I'm going to go into this, the secret of the formula right away, because this is a very unusual ingredient. Um, I've never seen it in another skincare brand. Um, and it's part of that medical grade. It's called Pura Flora Declan. And basically it is a gas carrying molecule. So it carries oxygen to the cell. And at the same time, it eliminates the cell from carbon, di carbon dioxide. Um, so it gives the skin an immediate boost of oxygen. It helps to build the cellular metabolism. It brings apart uh, a, about an immediate glow. So for a, a smoker, you can imagine what it does for a smoker. It also really brings down that prickling sensation. You can actually not give the 2B bio peel without this product. Your client has to go home with this product when they leave. Um, we include it in every kit um, if you um, are doing a series, and we'll talk a little bit more about this later, if you're doing a series, normally we send the, uh, the client home with between three and six home care products that they're going to use. 
Um, if they are having a one-shot beauty treatment, you do need to send them home with the bio oxygel. So at that point, you can decide as an esthetician, do you want to include the cost of this product into the service or do you want to send them home with the sample? But they will need to be using this product for a minimum of 24 hours after the treatment um, for healing, wound healing, and also to really bring down that prickling sensation. I re recommend this product for every single skin type. Um, it is going to, um, every single skin type needs uh, more oxygen in their skin and the removal of carbon dioxide. So this is an excellent product to sell to everyone. This particular product, the 2B Bio Serum O2, has the pretty much the exact same ingredients as the OxyGel. It is double in cost because it contains double amount of the Pure Flora Declan. I would recommend that Bio Serum O2 for someone who's on a cure. Um, so if they are getting one to be bio peel once a week, then I would definitely want to include that bio serum either in the cost of the treatment or as a separate. Okay, next we have their eye and lip contour gel. This one also contains that pure flora Declan, and it's so nice because it really brightens up the eye area. It's amazing for dark circles because it is delivering oxygen straight to the cell. Um, it's also really good around the lips and we really use this in the treatment to protect the eyes, the lips and around the nose. So this one is just really nice. It feels great. Um, it eliminates all traces of fatigue and it, they, you can even actually put it straight on the eyelid, which you don't find with a lot of eye and lip serums. You usually want to stay down this. You can put it straight on, which is nice and unique. And a tip for the eye regard, the bio eye regard, you can keep it if you have a small little refrigerator in your esthetician room, um, because it's going to feel amazing during the treatment when it's cold. And before we move on to the next slide, I did want to cover the last product with Pure Flora Declan. It is newer, so we don't have a slide on it yet, but it is this one, the Bio Enzy Scrub. And this is an enzymatic finishing mask. You guys got a sample of it. You can see it's, you might not be able to see here because it's, um, like halfway down, but it's almost iridescent. Like we it is iridescent. It is iridescent. <laughs> We call it our diamond enzyme because it just sparkles on the face and it leaves you sparkling after. This is also using papaya and pineapple, so it ends enzymatic. So in the 2B bio peel, you're getting three types of exfoliation. You're getting the manual exfoliation from the bio gommage, which is your first step. You're getting the microdermabrasion, then the micro, micro needling like effect through the peel. And now you're getting an enzymatic type effect. So you're almost getting every type of exfoliation <laughs> that is um, available to an esthetician. I absolutely love this one. It's also infused with sweet almond oil, macadamia oil. So you don't a lot of times find enzymes that are deeply moisturizing. This one is, it just almost feels like satin on the skin. And I love this one to use afterward, after the peel to um, ease that prickling sensation. And it's to just- To deeply hydrate and to exfoliate. Um, and if you are seeing your client, let's say you're doing a cure um, and instead of doing the peels once a week, you're doing the peel twice a week, you can always see them in the middle and just do the NZ scrub mm -hmm. as well. Yep. And that does have the Pure Flora Declan. So that is the um, fourth product with the Pure Flora Declan in it. Biohydrolift, or I'm sorry, Hydrolift. Um, this is a finishing cream that you actually received in your kit. And this is an AHA based cream. So it has vitamins A, C, and E. It is regenerating and restructuring. It uses fruit acids of AHA and it is um, a, provides a double moisturizing and exfoliating um, effect. And this one would be your finishing cream for anybody normal combination or oily. 
Okay, next we have the Bio Cocoon. This is actually one of my favorite creams um, and not just the 2B Bio line, but in the entire 40 lines we carry. It's the most hydrating out of anything we carry. It literally feels like butter on the skin. It is absolutely beautiful. My sister, for example, she's the most dehydrated person <laughs> I've ever met. She's on oil serum, she's on everything and nothing stops her from being dehydrated besides this product. Um, like I cannot stress enough how deeply hydrating this bio cocoon is. We didn't include it in your kit because it is so rich for any one of you who might just be a little bit more combination. It would have been way too rich for you. So that's why we included the other one, but it's using shea butter, allantoin, vitamin E, glycerin, glycerin, and squalene. And it just feels so, so nice. Biohydrolite is your their cream for hyperpigmentation and this actually includes the peptide sepi white which controls the activity of tyrosinase um, and is going to lighten the skin over time you can use this as a finishing cream as well um, you will find that the 2b bio peel dramatically improves hyperpigmentation it is just going to bring it to the surface so you can treat it very effectively with a product like this that contains a peptide for lightning. Um, to be bio has three different types of SPFs. They have a non-tinted SPF and then they also have two BB creams are an SPF. They have like a light and a medium and they're very full coverage. Okay, now we're going to beginning into the actual treatment steps. Now is the time that you can kind of take out the kit we sent you and we'll have you put them in order um, of how the treatment is going to go. We're not doing the treatment just quite yet. We're just gonna go through the steps first off. Can we see some more people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so first, you are going to remove your makeup with the BioNet cleanser. So that will be step number one. So you can put that in the it's, first slot. The BioNet cleanser is going to be in one of these, uh, one of in the jars. So it's going to be this one. You can see how creamy it is. So that's going to be your first step. The next is you're going to do your first degreasing with the Bio Purette Cleanser. This little guy. So you're going to want to put that in step number two. And then you are going to use the Gommage, which is in this guy. I didn't have a label for it. So I got to it. <laughs> and that's going to be your step number three. And then um, once the gommage is off and your skin is cleansed, you are going to use the BioClarte. And that is the lotion that contains the salicylic acid and the camphor. So that's, oh no. So that will act. That's this one, it's the green one. And it will act as your final degreasing step before the peel. I just gave you guys enough for to try the treatment for one treatment. Then we're going to um, step number five will be the bio eye regard. And we're gonna use this in the treatment to protect um, the eye area around the nose and the mouth. Um, keep in mind, you can steam for five minutes prior to the treatment. Um, and I yes, do that so, for someone who's not quite as sensitive. Yes. So um, if you're going to steam, it's going to um, facilitate the penetration of the micro needle um, easier. So the micro needle will slip into the follicle easier. Um, if someone is sensitive, you won't steam. You don't want the skin really to be hot. So if you're going to going to steam, please put the steam appropriate uh, distance away so the skin isn't super hot. And then next you're going to actually do the peel. <laughs> so that will be your step seven. You're gonna light a tea light in your ramekin. Um, I gave you guys the perfect amount of prep solution. I measured it out for you. 
So just go ahead and dump the entire thing in. We're not doing not it now. right now. <laughs> yeah. um, but when we do do the treatment, just feel free to dump the entire thing out. Um, the way you stir this, um, you don't really want to mix it like super aggressively. It's more of a gentle fold, almost like when you do a cake, it's just a very gentle fold because you don't want to break down the spicules. Your kind of your only goal is just to make sure all the powder is wet and saturated, but there's no need to like fully stir it. Yeah. So what we'll do is once the liquid is combined with the powder, you will leave it alone. Um, and until the, the formula starts slightly bubbling, um, and then we'll test it uh, on our wrist to make sure that it is not too warm and then blow out the candle. So we'll do that all together. And it almost gets like a frothy like consistency. It's almost foamy. Um, it's not going to be too drippy. Like when you when you dip your brush in it, it's not going to be it fully drip. dripping off the. You don't the want it to drip, but you don't want it to drip at all. So we'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Um, and then you put your gloves on. If you do not have gloves at home, don't worry about it. You're just doing the treatment on yourself. But of course, you would always want to wear gloves in the treatment room. Um, then you're going to start gently massaging. So here it says face, neck, and decollete. Um, I never do the face, neck, and decollete all together in one treatment. It's too much. I'll do the face and neck, and then on a separate treatment, I'll do the decollete. Plus, you don't really have enough peel in the 2B Bio peel package to do the decollete as well. So we're just going to say face and neck here. And then you're going to use circular up, upward motions um, to massage the peel. How long are you going to massage the peel? Um, well, if you have a very dark Fitzpatrick, you might not want to massage at all. Um, if you have a sensitive client, you maybe you're going to massage for one or two minutes. You can massage that peel for up to five minutes. Um, and then you will begin pressing the spicules into the skin um, until you decide how long you want it to dry. So you will you will press these spicules into the skin and then you will choose to let it dry or not let it dry. Um, there's one product that um, you didn't get a sample of, which is an absolute must when you do this treatment. Um, we couldn't give you a sample because it's a foam and it uses this pump here. And so it would have arrived as water and it wouldn't have helped you at all. Mm -hmm. um, but it is called Bio Peeling Calming Foam Mousse. Um, it brings down the tingling sensation, but what I love most about this is if you decide to let the peel dry all the way, when you apply, you apply this calming foam directly over the peel, it's going to re-moisten the peel. So it works double. It brings down inflammation. Um, it calms the prickling sensation and really important, it re the peel so you can get it off much easier. I know some of you guys are familiar with the 2D Bio line and you've already purchased the kits. If you have the calming foam, like I saw, yep, you're a whole <laughs> yes. feel free to use it. Yes. Um, I'm going to be using it so I can show you how it works. So there's a couple different ways on how to remove this peel. Everyone kind of has their own personal preference. Um, to be bio recommends that you do it with a wet sponge. You kind of pinch it off. You're going to realize that the removal process is going to be the most uncomfortable during the treatment. It's not for the client. For yeah. the client. Um, I find that the sponge can be a little bit too coarse and you want something as soft as possible. And also the pinching it off, it takes a long time and you kind of just want to over with it's really um, personal preference so yes. on our on our website we have two videos um one that shows the pinching removing process and one that just shows a process removing it with four by four and a warm yes. towel so so really whatever you find is the quickest easiest way to get off um is fine for you mm -hmm. um as julia said i really like the softer cotton pads rather than a porous sponge, because you'll see your skin um, is very much exfoliated and those spicules are 
in the follicle. So every time you're like running a sponge over it, it can become irritated. Your client is going to feel it. So just over the amount of doing these peels over and over, we've decided that we really like just to get it off as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, also keep in mind, whenever you're removing it, you want to use cool to lukewarm water. You don't want to use anything hot. Um, one, it's going to be uncomfortable for your client. Um, and two, it can dissolve the spicules in the skin with very hot water. So it can encourage cool. the spicule to actually fall out yes. if you put very hot um, water or, or and you're also going to um, instruct your client, no hot showers, no sauna, no exercise generally for up to 72 hours, but at least for the first 24. Yeah. 24 to 48. You really want to encourage that spicule to stay in the skin. So everything, all temperature of water you're going to use after the peel has been applied is going to be cool. Next, you're going to use the bio -Ducer. It's this guy right here. And you can either just spray it on the skin or you can use a cotton round to gently wipe away any residue. You're going to notice that there will be peel residue on the skin. When you're first removing, don't get too worried about that because we are going to be doing a mask and that's when the rest of the residue will come off. So don't get too worried if you can't get all of the peel off while you're removing it. Um, next, you're going to choose what mask you want to do personally in this treatment and what mask you want to choose for your client or if you want to do two masks. So I supplied you guys with two different options. I did the NZ scrub and the Bionutrition, which is that mask for dehydrated and sensitive skin. If you are more sensitive, do the Bionutrition. If you are not super sensitive, do what I recommend, and it is the Enzy scrub. You're just going to get a little bit, it's going to take that treatment to the next level, and then you can save that bionutrition for the next day or tonight. Um, I would do it the next day, yes. actually. Um, in the treatment room, um, feel free to do both. Mm -hmm. You can do the Enzy scrub, then the purification, Enzy scrub, then the nutrition just for time's sake today because we don't want to keep you here um, longer than necessary choose which one you'd like to use joy and i both recommend you use the enzy scrub unless you're feeling very oversensitized then you will use the nutrition Um, after about 10 minutes, you can remove the mask. If you're using the nutrition, you're going to find that if it's not all, it's almost completely absorbed by that point. Um, both the NZ scrub and the Meyer nutrition is really going to feel good to ease that prickling sensation. After you remove the mask with, remember, a cool towel, um, you're going to apply either the Bio Serum O2 or the Bio Oxy Gel. In your kit, you did receive the Bio Oxy Gel. I did give you guys enough for more than one application. So feel free to use the Bio Oxy Gel as many times as you would like today and use it tonight as well. Oh, and obviously stay away from the harsh retinols tonight and tomorrow and like the harsh acids. You just want to give your skin nourishment and love tonight. Think of the Oxygel as your post peel bomb. Um, it, it doesn't feel like a bomb because it is a serum, um, but think of this as your healing process because of the Purifloradeclin and this is going to give your skin dramatic wound healing ability. So think of that. So if you're used to giving, you know, like a Jesner type peel and you want to apply something over and over, um, this would be that product. And then you're going to, to apply the Bioregard Eye and Lip. And then you're going to apply the biohydrovit, which will be your last step in the in the um, treatment. treatment. And it's this little guy. So if you're more dehydrated, that's when you would apply the bio cocoon. And then um, the last step is to apply an SPF. We didn't supply a sample of an SPF, but feel free to use your favorite SPF. It can be chemical or physical. If you're going to be going outside. Yep. All right, and then Viola. Okay, wait, so let's go one more time. Let's go over um, how your steps should look. And then we're gonna take it off the PowerPoint, bring y'all up.
and then we'll start the treatment. You can unmute yourself and we can shoot with answering all questions. So in number one position is the BioNet, then the BioPurette, then the BioGommage, then the BioClarte, the iRegard, in this case, we're just gonna be using the iRegard to um, protect the eyes um, around the nose and the lip. Then the peel with the prep, then the biodesor, then the Enzy scrub or, or the, the nutrition, then the oxygel, and then the hydrovit. So pretty simple. Hmm. So let's stop the screen share. Mm -hmm. All righty, there's all your beautiful faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you guys want, um, please, uh, if you don't mind, turn your video on. Um, yes, oxygel can be applied throughout the day after the treatment. You're going to find it eases that prickling sensation. What was the fourth step? Um, it was the two cleanses, the gommage, uh, and then the, the fourth bio, step is the clarté. Is the bio clarté. Slow and then, down. sorry, <laughs> I know that's something we both notice about ourselves. We talk too fast, so trust me, we know that. <laughs> this is all being recorded, so we're happy to share it all with you mm -hmm. again, so you can review it. Also, it's going to live on Jody's our website. Her hand. Yeah, Jody, you can then meet yourself and ask a question. Um, I have the Bio Pure Fit. Is that also a mask? Yes, yes, it is. That's the mask for more oily skin type. So if you yourself or more combination, feel free to use that mask instead of the nutrition. Or the NZ scrub, right? Mm -hmm. The NZ scrub is going to be your enzymatic mask. So it would be another step of exfoliation after the mechanical microneedling peel. So you could do both. You could do the NZ scrub, then the uh, Purifont, or you can do the Purifont tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's up, it's up to you. Or, but like in the treatment room, like would you- You could do both. both. Okay. So it's going to depend on time. So each of those masks are going to stay on the skin um, 10 to 15 minutes. So what my suggestion would be is uh, use the NZ scrub more as an add-on as another step of um, enzymatic exfoliation and then charge more. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions before we get started? Yeah, Jill? Oh, you got, here, I can unmute you. Wait, we're unmuting you, hold on. <laughs> okay, ask to unmute you, so you just have to- You have to accept the response. <laughs> the fun's of Zoom. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, uh, I just was wondering, could you run through the steps again one more time? Yeah. Absolutely. So you're going to cleanse with the BioNet, which is the eye makeup remover okay. and deeply hydrating That's cleanser. That's in a little jar. The next step is you're going to cleanse with the salicylic based um, bio purette. Okay. The gel based cleanser. The gel based cleanser. Then you're going to go mosh. All right. Which is the scrub. Okay. Then you're going to degrease with the Clarte. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to protect your eye, nose, and lips with the bio regard. Okay. Then you're going to do the peel. And light All the right. candle. We'll, we'll walk you through it each step. We're not just leaving you here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to massage the peel. Then we're going to press the peel in. Then if you have the calming foam, if you've purchased it at some point, Mm -hmm. You will apply the calming foam. If you don't, right. don't worry about it. You'll be fine. It's just um, going to dry more. All right. um, and then next is the bio Desor, which is the right. calming and soothing lotion. Okay. The next is whatever mask you choose, whether that is the NZ scrub or the bio nutrition. All right. Next, you remove and you apply the oxy gel. Okay. Which is the wound healing serum. And that's the serum that you're gonna use a couple times over the next 24 hours to bring down the prickling sensation of the treatment. All right. And finishing cream. Yep, and then whatever SPF you, you so choose. Okay, great. 
Thank you. Yeah, sure. no problem. Okay, is everybody ready to get going? Um, mm -hmm. what, I have a question. Sure. Uh, what about the BioPrep activator? Are we using that? Yes. yes. That's going to be what's mixed in with the peel. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, sorry. So we're just including that as the peel step. As the peel. Okay. Yes, but we already pre-measured it for you. So you don't have to take anything out to measure. Um, in the treatment room, you'll the it comes with a little spoon. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask that too. So thank you for asking. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and there's kind of two lines. So you'll use less prep to that first line if you want the peel to have less fluidity. Okay. And you'll go all the way up if you want it to have more. Um, usually the first time that I'm uh, performing the peel on someone, I add more prep just to be on the more safe side. And then when I see, uh, and then I'm going to massage less time and prep and press less time. And I'll let them know, especially if we're doing in a series or if they just love the way their skin came out, that we can take this uh, further for you next time. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Jody. Wait, 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 hold on, Jody. You have to go off. I'm going to ask to unmute you. Now you have to accept that. Unmute. Okay. Is that better? Yep, we can hear okay. you. So, so in a treatment room, when you have this all down, how long do you think it would take? Um, if you're do? going, uh, an hour. One hour, okay. Yes, if you're going to do two masks, um, the NZ scrub and the nutrition, I'd give myself an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Sure. Carla? Um, I want to do the most intense on my skin today. Okay. Do you think that is a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, how sensitive are you, Carla? I'm, I'm not sensitive. I could put battery acid on my face oh, and no, be okay. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, okay. Use a little bit less of the prep than we gave you. Okay. Um, you don't want, so when you use less prep, it's going to dry out faster. So don't dilly dally. If okay. you know what, what that means, as soon as you blow out that candle and test it, start applying and start massaging. Okay. Because it's going to dry faster the, the less amount of prep that you put in. So. Okay. Anybody else have questions before we get going? If you think we, of anything. We can't see everybody, actually. Um, let's see. Everybody good? Okay. So everybody get ready. Um, I'm not going to give my myself this treatment today because I have to take off my glasses during classes and then I can't see all, I can't answer <laughs> questions, and it's not too frustrating for me. <laughs> so Julia's going to give herself the peel. Trust me, I've done hundreds of these peels on myself. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go ahead and start cleansing with the bio. Hi, this is the retail size. You're gonna find all of these products have a very nice scent to them. They're all very light. So if you have anyone who's scent sensitive, um, they can still use these and they're just very nice and refreshing. Smells good. It does. <laughs> now, do we just rub it in? No water, nothing? You can add water to it. Mm -hmm. I um, like to add water, but you can use it without as well. Um, also, if you're wearing um, or your client has waterproof um, makeup, waterproof mascara, don't add water to the cleanser. You can also, I'm monitoring, I can see since I'm wearing my glasses. So you can also type me a message if you want. <laughs> and don't, you guys, you don't need to raise your hand because we can't see all of you on the screen at once. There's multiple pages. Um, so just feel free to ask your question. No need to raise the hand. We could just pop out a question. You can oh, yeah. just pop it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we love questions. Got your back here. <laughs> okay. So I'll wait for everyone to be done with that first cleanse. It um, feels so, so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this first time trying the treatment on? Me. Yes. <laughs> Me. Oh, I see you have a question in the top left. We I can't just see, see your name. name. Yeah, we can't see your name. So. <laughs> it just says iPhone 12. <laughs> iPhone 12, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> oh, you need to unmute yourself. So I asked you to unmute. So you'll get Thank a you. This is Angelique. Hi, Angelique. Oh, hi, Angelique. How are you? 
No, so nice to see you. Good. <laughs> okay, here's the package. Here's the ramekin. What do I do? You, we're not, you didn't we're not show there it. Yet. So hold on. Mm -hmm. um, we'll let you know we're not there yet. We're still in the cleansing step. So now we're going to do our second okay. cleanse with the bio purette. This is going to be your job. Um, my sister is my my model. That's why I'm okay. Okay, so cleanse the second time with the bio purette. We're on step two. Wait, do okay. we do we rinse with water first? Yes, rinse with water. So remove the bio net, and then you're going to do your second cleanse with the bio purette. Yeah. It has really nice foam to it. You are going to use water for the bio purette to emulsify. And you see it has a really nice suds. So this again is your second cleanse. You just cleanse with the BioNet cream cleanser and removed the client's makeup. Now you're going in with the second cleanse for the bio purette. This again has the salicylic acid and the mint in it. it feels very nice and refreshing. And this is gonna be your first degreaser. And we are not leaving this on the skin, we are going to remove. So after you're done cleansing, then you can begin the removal. Okay, is everyone done with their second cleanse? Almost. Almost. Okay. I just got the bottle open. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to put your knife. Yeah, we have to tape really the crap well. out of it. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys think it. Oh, this smells good too. Mm -hmm. It's very so fresh. Good. Love it. Yeah. It's a very fresh. popular cleanser. Okay, so then now the third step is the bio gommage, the scrub. Mm -hmm. So again, to reiterate, we just did our two cleanses, the first one with the bio net, second one with the bio purit. We are on step number three with the bio gommage. Mm -hmm. And you can emulsify this as well. It's also just a really nice gentle scrub to retail to your clients. Again, it's not a traditional gommage. It is more just a scrub. <laughs> this is also when you can gauge your client's sensitivity with this and the next step, the bio quarte. But right now we are on that third step of the bio gommage. Um, after this step, before we um, apply the Clarté, we're going to prepare our peel because it needs to cook for about anywhere between two to four minutes, depending on your location. Um, so I have done this in a room full of 50 people and it's ready in 30 seconds. And then I've done this in a, in a really um, just uh, environment like uh, ours today, we're um, right near the ocean and it can take up to four minutes. So as soon as you remove the bio gommage, we're going to prepare the peel. And we'll go over that in detail. How long do we rub the gommage in for? Um, anywhere from 30 seconds to 75 seconds, just depending on the sensitivity of the client. Okay. Thanks. Give everyone a little time. Can we just ask them how it feels? Like, is this hurting you or is yeah, this feeling if, comfortable? You mean the, the gommage? Yeah, um, the gommage. Yeah, I wouldn't say hurting. I've never had anybody have the gommage hurt, but you will definitely be answering, asking that question during the peel. And I always, okay. you know, from a <laughs> scale of one to five, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say the word hurt because that's like a bad <laughs> verb, but I just said it. I don't know why I said that, but I wouldn't say it to a client. I'd say, oh, how yeah. comfortable? How I would say if you see a lot of redness from the gamage that you're going to know to go lighter during the peel. Okay. Yeah. My room is usually pitch dark. I'll have to like put a candle near their face or something. <laughs> 
this is not this this actual the 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 um tubi bio peel itself is going to be very clinical yes okay. so it's not going to be so much of the ah this feels mm -hmm. so great <laughs> uh, yeah that part is and i make everything else except the peel part and then i'm like okay yeah but cool. everything else is really relaxing <laughs> the, the rest of the products in the tubi bio line is are going to feel very nice okay Okay, so now we are going to prepare our peel. Again, we have not toned yet. We're going to prepare this because it takes a while. Does everybody have a match or a lighter? Yeah. Okay, yes. and we gave everybody a candle. So make sure that you have your little candle that came like this. We actually put it inside the ramekin for you. We did all the guesswork. We took all the guesswork out of it mm -hmm. for you. Um, so put that inside the ramekin and have your match. You're going to open the peel and there's a little groove. So you'll just rip that open. It should come off very easily. And then you're going to pour it into your ram ramekin. So I'm going to show you the 2B Bio ramekins. I think I missed step four because I was washing it off. Well, we haven't done step four yet. We're going to prepare the peel and then we're oh. going to do step four. Uh, okay. After the oh. and, and the reason why you start preparing the peel now is because the, the mixture needs to set. It needs to set. So what happens is when you light that lighter, it releases the binding agents that we were talking about, and it binds, it kind of makes a glue that are going to, that are going to set all the ingredients together. So this, um, this ramekin. It's from, nice because it comes apart. So these are available. They're $40. Um, you can probably find them less expensive. I've looked everywhere. I can't find them that come apart. And the nice thing is, is you like to be able to pick up the peel and remove it from the heat, but feel free, you know, just use what we gave you for now. It's completely fine. It will do the trick. So everybody pour your peel into the top of your ramekin. I don't think I got a ramekin. I got this little little thing. That's what it yeah, looks that's, like. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. So yep. the top portion, put the peel in. Put it in there. Okay. Yep. And then everyone's everyone's looks candle. Different. Yeah, everyone's looks different. We bought out all the ramekins in a hundred square miles for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now after your peel is poured into your ramekin, some of your ramekins looks like flowers, some of them are shaped <laughs> like me. Um, then you're going to pour in all of your prep solution. I measured it out so you can just pour the entire thing in. And Carla, you'll leave a little bit <laughs> less. Okay. Or anybody who wants to go a more a aggressive, aggressive, just a little bit. Have we, have we lit the match? We haven't lit the match yet, right? For the, Not yet. You're going to pour okay. the, for the, the prep in, then you're going to light the match. Is the prep, is that the activator? Yes, activator prep solution. And the whole solution? Correct. When you're using a spoon, how much do you put in? Up to this, the little line inside the spoon. Well, you do, um, so I either do one full spoon and then one half a spoon or two up to the line. Okay. So, okay. If, you, if you want to go gentle, two spoonfuls up to the line. If you want to go to ag more aggressive, one and a half up to the line. So okay. now you are going to light your candle and put it underneath. Someone needs to join. Someone's joining now. <laughs> they just wanted the facial <laughs> okay so now that is everyone's candle going do we yep. stir it or no yep so you're going to stir it with the fan brush only okay and it's a very gentle stir you're just folding it over your only goal is to wet and immerse the powder i like to think it of think of folding in egg whites into a cake you don't want to aggressively do it because it's going to lose, lose its buoyancy. So just fold it in until the powder is mixed in with the liquid, and then you're going to stop. As soon as we get to what it's supposed to look like, we're going to show you. And your candle should be lit at this point. OK. I like this part because you feel like a little chemist. If I don't have a fan brush, is it okay to just use my fingers with gloves on? 
I I would give a tongue blade maybe. Well, Uh, at this point, you just need to start mixing it. So sure, just just be very gentle. I mix Uh, it. I mean, when I'm applying it, can I just use my fingers? Oh yeah, totally. Okay. Yep. So it's going to look different once it's heated up. It's going to get a little bit thicker in consistency. But see how it's not too drippy. Oh, not too drippy. Yes. Drippy. Is that a word? <laughs> it's a word for this one. <laughs> not like that. I'm going to use it. Not too drippy. <laughs> so so it not- is not dripping off the fan brush. So <laughs> we're going to let it, you'll see that it's going to get, um, it's going to start bubbling. It takes a few minutes. So now that it's all mixed and ready to go, you can just let it sit. Remember, ladies, don't over mix it. And now we can apply our BioClarte. This is step four. So go ahead and move on to that step. And just Do we take it off the fire or no? Nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> just let oh. it cook. Our bio- Hold on one sec. Uh, we asked to unmute you, Michelle. So you just want to press unmute or you can press the space bar to unmute. Yes, go ahead. Okay. So I had a little trouble and I realized it was me that was not uh, showing on the camera. So okay. uh, I have done the bio gamage. And okay. then do I spray the, the bio okay. clarity? So have you mixed your peel? No, that's, I was, okay. I had to go and give permission for me okay. to be, so it took me a minute. Okay, okay, so go ahead and dump your peel into the top of your- But I haven't done this. That's okay, don't do that yet. And I have not done the BioRegard eye cream. That's, that's fine, okay. you need to get okay. the peel going. Okay, so, go so the candle's lit. Okay, pour your peel into the top of the ramekin. I'm pouring the powder of the peel into the top of the ramekin. And then pour all of the prep activator that we measured out for you. Into the, the bio top. prep activator. Correct. Okay. Into the top. And then light your candle. And then you're just going to slowly fold it into itself. The goal is just to get all the powder wet and soaked in. The rest of you, it should be almost ready. Okay. So it starts bubbling, little teeny tiny bubbles, and it thickens up and it should look like this consistency. It's almost a frothy consistency. So, Are we supposed to add something after the bio prep in it or no? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Am I pouring the entire thing in? Yes, you yes. are. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the candle's lit. Yep. yep. And then fold it in. So all, the, then, all the powder is blended with the liquid and then stop stirring it. The rest of you, are you bubbling? And yes, it- I'm bubbling and I have smoke coming off top of okay, mine. Okay, blow, blow it out. Blow it out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody blow out your candle if you have any bubbles. Okay, mm-hmm. patch test it on your wrist to see the temperature. It should be warm. What am I stirring with? A fan brush. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just want to make sure. Sure. And as it's cooking for everyone, have you applied your BioClarte toner? Yes. yes. Everybody's done the toner? Oh, no, go ahead and do the toner. Okay. You're behind us about three minutes. So go ahead okay. and apply the toner. How do we apply it? Just spray it? You can spray it on a cotton pad or and wipe your face. Over. Or just spray it in your hands and work it in. But stay away from your eyes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next, you're going to apply the bio eye regard. Okay, so you're going to protect your eyes. Corners of your nose and your lips. We will not be getting anywhere near the eyes. Um, Obviously during the treatment, your client will have eye pads because you're giving this to yourself, you need to be able to see. (laughs) So we're gonna take a wide berth around the eyes. What if you wanna get rid of the crow's feet? (laughs) Well, when someone's giving it to you, you can get into the crow's feet because you're giving it to yourself, you cannot. Um, it can be very irritating right around the nose. So make sure that you put the bio regard there and your lips and we should be ready to go. You do not want it to cool down. So everybody go ahead and start applying the peel. So this is the, cons- this is like the perfect consistency right here. You see see it? how it's almost frothy. Mm-hmm. It's not dripping too much. 
and it's so warm and it's so warm. So you're going to go ahead and your hand, right? You can do it with your hands. I like to do it with the fan brush, but go ahead and do it any way you want. So the way you apply it, it's not so much a brush stroke. It's a dab. It's a dab. I like to just dab it on. Do you want to move the computer a little closer to me? Mm -hmm. So I just pat it on the skin. And you kind of want to go fast at this point. Are you doing your neck as well? No, not today. Just the okay. face. Remember, uh, Jane, yeah, I'm going to do just kind the of face. a pat. You want yes. to get it on now fast. You don't want okay. it to dry. This is not a not a pretty thing. Get it all over your face, and then start massaging it in. So should my um uh, since I was three minutes behind, should should I see smoke coming from mine? You don't want to see smoke once the it starts. A little bit of a bubbling. It's ready. Yeah, I see little bubbles on the top. Okay, but they're blow not it out okay. and then test it on your hand to make on your wrist to make sure it's not too hot. Once okay. it's on, start massaging. And use all of it, right? All yeah. of it. All mm -hmm. of it. So now I'm going to start. So watch Julia here, guys. My circle massage and all circular movements. And you're going to feel it it's almost a little bit. I hate comparing it to this, but it's almost a little bit like fiberglass. <laughs> so Carla, you... get it on and start rubbing because it's going to start drying. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So okay. see how mine's really dark as it's going to um, dry, it's going to get lighter. And when you are working on someone else, you can actually like spread the crow's feet open and really work it in there. You're going to work it really into the fine, the, the V's here. And what like above the lip, I know it's sensitive or we put the like, but if they have fine lines above the lip. You definitely uh -huh. want to do it above the lip in every service. You'll just spread and go. If I have um, done this actually on uh, cystic acne and it just brought the cyst mm -hmm. right to the surface just by spreading the cyst, going around the cyst with the peel and literally it just came to the surface and opened up. It was amazing. Yes. So, so once you've massaged for three minutes, you're going to begin pressing the spicules in. Sorry, Rachel, I just wanted oh, to- Oh, no, no, you're okay. No, no, you're good. <laughs> we don't want it to dry before we start pressing. This is very important. When you press, you're going to press in and lift. You want to lose, when you're going around the jowl area, you're going to put your hands like this and lift up. You want those needles to be penetrated in an upward motion. Does that make sense? So press- you don't want your skin going down. <laughs> That's the whole point. Like I said, you can so really dip it up right here and work it into the crow's feet. So once you've massaged it for anywhere between one to three minutes, you're going to begin pressing. Okay. If you had steamed, they're going to slide in a little bit easier because we, we, we're not steaming in this. You really want to make sure that you press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. Should we use the entire amount on our yep. face? Okay. The entire amount. What you do we do if it starts to dry out? How do we reactivate it? Um, you just let it dry. Stop manipulating it. If it okay. starts to dry, you're done. Okay. okay. Um, if you continue to manipulate it while it's drying, it's just going to make the peel behave more aggressively, which is fine if that's what you want it to do. Uh -huh. um, for this <laughs> time, we don't want it to do that. We just want everybody to get a basic, just a basic peel here. Some of you will probably get peeling. Some of you won't. It's really, it all depends. Remember it depends on the pressure you apply the peel, the duration you leave it on and the fluidity of the peel. So all those three factors is what is going to determine the aggressiveness of the peel. Thank you. And then you would use the steam five, about five minutes before you did the peel. Correct. correct. Mm -hmm. And I would push it back. So you're just getting the bouncing of the steam. You okay. don't want the face red or hot. Okay. And I'm going to show you what the calming foam looks like and how it acts. So it's this foam. And this is also what you would use to reactivate the peel. So and let's say like you let it on. get way too dry. 
Um, and so your choice at that point um, is to remove it dry. That would be the most aggressive way to handle the peel because getting it off is going to be um, more difficult and it's going to involve more of a exfoliation getting the peel off. If you re-moisten it with the calming, calming foam, foam, it is a kinder, gentler approach to the treatment. I particularly like it. It's very hard to get the peel off when it's completely dry. If that happens to you, it's fine. You don't have the calming foam, but you want to re-moisten it, go ahead and re-moisten it with a cool, cool towel. I also love the calming foam because you can actually go in and re-massage for another five minutes. So it's actually calming the skin down, but then you can even do more pressing and more massaging. So it's also mm -hmm. another way to make the peel more aggressive. I always like to go as aggressive as I can. I want to peel. Every time I do this, I want to peel. So exactly. I'm always going in and re-massaging So it. Michelle, I can tell just by looking that your yep. peel was, might've needed to be cooked just a little bit longer it's still very moist that's fine okay, okay. it's just not going to be as aggressive then which is probably and... good for the first time <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and start massaging that i wondered if it, it needed a little bit more i should have gone with my gut okay <laughs> <laughs> it's hard with this one because it's so by touch and by sight and by yeah. when it's ready and by location. It yeah. depends on how humid your room is. Yes, we did this in mm -hmm. Arizona and it dried up like that. Like yeah. it was in there for about 10 seconds and it was ready. <laughs> and then sometimes here it'll take five minutes. So it depends on the humidity and how dry it is. I'm gonna and to go like this. So first you're going to massage it in an upward circle motions all over. Go ahead and massage that really good for Should one we, to two to three minutes. Can we remove it it's drying? Yes. yes. Now you can start the removal process. I am using a cool wet four by four. Carla, yours looks like it, it's dried. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you can get it moist with a warm, with a cool towel and remove. Mm, okay. And that will be aggressive. Yeah. yeah it, it looks like it might have. Um, are, is your room warm? Are you talking to me? Not I'm too not warm. Okay. It's not just too. Looking at your picture here, it looks like it dried really fast. Um, oh, so I massaged next, a lot. Okay, good. <laughs> so go ahead and remove it now. Okay. So okay. You, you said to go up right now, right? Yep. Now that I've Upward circles. In between uh, on the 11th, away from your eye, but small circles, anywhere you have deeper lines. Okay. As you're gonna see, I get fire engine red with this treatment. It's normal. So do I. Yes, I get fire engine red <laughs> I'm with sure I will. any treatment, um, but that is completely normal. Yeah. Okay. Also, you're gonna notice that it's difficult to remove from the hairline. Okay. Um, when you're giving this treatment in the treatment room, give yourself a half an inch. Okay. The product does move. Mm -hmm. I've got in hairlines many times. Um, <laughs> it's just harder to get out. Uh, the mask will help remove. Don't go ahead and scrub trying to get it out. Just go on to the masking phase and it'll come off during that, that part of the treatment. So do I go and take it off now? Yes. Okay. How's everyone feeling? I'm going to scroll through the pages. To see. It's very stimulating. It feels good. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you can do it because I have wet hands. So do you just kind of pat it off or wipe, just wipe it off? So you it? can, you can pinch it off. Pinch like it a, off. Oh, I, um, I've scrolled through. Oh, so you you're no longer back on. to the first page. So like with the acne, it sounds like it really purges the pore. It does, yes. So everything just comes right out. And it really helps bring hyperpigmentation to the surface. Mm -hmm. So if you do six of these and then do another type of treatment um, uh -huh. that really focuses on lifting, you can really lift the hyperpigmentation. We have combined this treatment with the Radiant Brightening Peel from Mad Skincare and really got phenomenal results. Ooh, that sounds uh, good. Aggressive treatment. It's very hot. So 
after you remove the 2B bio peel, you do one layer of the radiant brightening peel. Um, and that's really going to help lift hyperpigmentation, but you want to work your way up because it's very hot and you just want to make sure, you know, obviously that your client can handle that. Yeah. That's amazing. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and remember, it's okay if you don't get the entire peel off because you are going to be doing a mask after this, and that's going to really help get more of the residue off. But see, I am almost good to go. I'm white pink. That's very normal for me. I always really work it in right here because when I break out, it's always on my cheeks. Is it Blissey? Blissey. Blissey. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll find um, once you get to like this part of the removal, if you had a cool towel and did a barber wrap, it would come off much easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard for us to do these types of things with little small bowls. But <laughs> at this stage um, in the treatment room, I would get maybe... 50 to 60 percent of the peel off with the cotton and then yeah. I would go do a cool barber wrap and it'd all come off perfect mm -hmm. so when they get this treatment they're gonna go home do you recommend them like to not shower just to kind of keep it all like yeah. just say, hey shower tomorrow morning then yeah yes. or it's at least not a hot shower I've gone home and taken cool showers and I've been fine but yeah you treat it like how you would treat a chemical peel don't have them go to do hot yoga don't have them go in a sauna to the gym things that you know since they had a peel they're naturally gonna immediately want to do um <laughs> so just be very clear like okay it's just like the same guidelines as the chemical peel okay. No working out, no gym, no hot tub, no hot bath, no sweating a bunch, no long outdoor walks in the sun without, at least without a big sun hat. So everybody at this point should be able to feel the spicule in the skin. So oh, when yeah. you do that, you oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> I've, I've taken the mask off. Should I have done another step? Which mask did you take off? The oh, enzyme. Right. The peel or the enzyme? Yeah, the peel. No, you're, you're good. fine right now. We're all caught okay. up. We're waiting. Oh, we put the, the enzyme mask on after the peel, right? But, so first we're yes. going to do the biodisor, which is okay. the floral toner for hydrating that will help bring down the tingling is, sensation. Is everyone good. good? Has everyone removed the peel? Everyone? Uh, yes. 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 Okay. okay. So which, which mask do we do? The bio which? We're doing the biodisor, which is a floral lotion. It's a toner. You're going to put it on a cotton pad. And, or you can spray it. Or you can spray it. We gave it to you in a spray. So you can spray it. And can it. you, do you avoid the eyes or? This one's very sensitive. So it's okay for it to go lightly over the okay. eyes. If you're going to spray it, just close your eyes. Okay. And see, I'm still kind of getting some residue off, which is totally fine. That, uh, no, it's not green. It's biodisor. That's bioclarte, yep. Angelique. You yeah, you don't get... want to use the bioclarte at this point. So <laughs> get a zinc for sure. <laughs> and then you're going to choose your mask. I'm going to say uh, you should try the NZ scrub unless you're feeling extraordinarily irritated. So the NZ scrub is it's a very nourishing based in the almond and macadamia nut oil, but it also has papaya. Yes, Angelique, that's the correct one. It also has papaya and pineapple. So it's enzymatic and it's really beautiful. So if you like social media, guys, you can social media the. See, it's just like a diamond. <laughs> Uh -huh. You can do a lot of beautiful pictures with this um, on your Putting it on with a fan, right? What, Michelle? Putting it on with a fan. I see she's or, doing Or just your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fan or hands. It's very nourishing. I'm going to say this isn't a treatment you're going to want to do massage with as well, because each touch, you're going to be able to feel those spicules. So this is not a massage. So after you've removed the, the, the peel, it's all about being gentle, right? Because those okay. spicules are in the skin. So we're touching um, less aggressively. And it, it's about just getting the product on and then not manipulating it anymore now. So and just, then this is where you can do the, either one mask or both of them. If correct. They mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what order out of them two to do it. I like to do the NZ scrub first. Okay. 
-hmm. And remember, this has the piriflora declin in it. So it's delivering oxygen straight to the cell. And it's also very healing, which is why I like to do it immediately after the peel. It feels a little warm, but it feels healing at the same time, if that makes sense. But it smells really nice. And also remember, this is now your third step of exfoliation. First, you did the bio gommage, which was your first step. Second was the bio peeling for the microneedling and microdermabrasion like effects. Third is the enzymatic mask. So you're literally getting three steps of exfoliation all in one treatment. And also keep in mind, this does have the macadamia oil in it, the almond oil. So it's an enzyme, but it's very deeply hydrating and nourishing, which is what your skin is wanting right now. It wants that hydration. So we're just applying this and leaving it on. Right. We're not, it on. We're not manipulating it. We're not steaming. We did just, everyone do the enzy scrub or did we have anyone do the bionutrition as well? Bionutrition for me. Yeah. Okay. Enzy scrub. NC scrub. Yeah, it looks like most of you guys are going NC scrub. I, I can see all the, the iridescent diamond faces. All glowing. <laughs> <laughs> so resist touching it. Okay. <laughs> Remember, the more you touch it, the more irritating the peel is going to be. I just um, want to make sure that I got every spot. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you're okay. going to leave that on 10 minutes. Um, okay. For today, we can leave it on five. You can leave it on up to 20 minutes, really. Um, it depends on, you know, how much you're charging for the service, how much time you have. It depends on a number of factors. So what's your price point up there, up north? Um, for a, like a one-shot beauty treatment, this is going for about $250. Um, in a series, it's going for about $185. Um, and then, of course, you're going to charge them for six. Um, what we recommend to do is if you're doing a series, you include the home care um, sure. and they're going to, you're, you're going to take the whole kit, the whole series cost. So let's say you're charging $1,200 for the series, and then you're going to bump it up to cover the cost of those four to five products that you're sending them home with. They absolutely have to have the Piriflora Declan products. So the oxygen gel is, the oxygel is an absolute must. Um, the Bio Regard is also very good because it has the Piriflora Declan and this area can get irritated with the spicules. Um, and then usually a finishing cream um, and a cleanser and a toner. So you, you and your client are gonna decide she's gonna take three products, she's gonna take four products, she's gonna take five. Um, and then you will discount um, the treatment if they're buying, you know, if they're getting the, the whole cure, so they're buying six and they're getting the products, if that makes sense. And real quick, we yeah. had a question, what goes on after the toner? Is it the oxygel? No, right now we are on the mask step. So you removed the peel, you toned with the bioducer. Now you're either A, gonna use the NZ scrub for an enzymatic effect, or B, you're going to do the bionutrition. I know you're doing it on your sister, Angelita. So just ask her how her skin's feeling. Does she feel like she can handle another step of exfoliation? Or does she want the bionutrition? Um, also, um, let's address the conversation. Well, I don't really want to bring in a, a whole new line to offer this service. Um, you can view 2B Bio as, um, as just a cure. So you're going to give your clients two to three series a year of six, and they're going to go home with the retail that they're going to use just during the series. So you have another brand that your clients love. So all they're going to do is set those products aside for six weeks and use their 2B Bio products. When you're finished with the cure, they can set the 2B Bio products aside and come back to them when they're having their second cure or they can continue to use them if they love them. But don't get so caught up into, oh, I'm using so-and-so line and I don't wanna give that up. You don't have to. Um, you just need to stay in the 2B bio box when you're giving the treatment. And when you're doing a series, your client needs to stay on the 2B bio box. Um, otherwise, they can just set those products aside and use them when you do another series. Because trust me, once they have six of these and they see the amount of um, collagen building in the jowl area, 
how much the hyperpigmentation comes to the surface and is being treated, um, clears acne, heals acne, they're gonna, they can't wait to schedule really another series. So um, don't get so worried that you have to invest in, you know, um, and carry it. Although a lot of our customers view this line as kind of also the retail portion as their like luxurious beauty line. Um, so if you if you want have a client who doesn't want the retinols, um, this is a really good alternative. It's like a more of a luxurious spa retail line. So, okay, we can start the removal process of the oxygen. Jody, here, let me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, can you use this with LED at all? Yes, I would use the LED during this portion, and I would put it um, this on just a little bit thinner because it is clear. It, it is iridescent, and that's when I would do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, not after the mask. Yeah, you can. It's just going to add more time. If you're trying to get the treatment within a certain amount of time, okay. you can use the LED during the Enzy scrub. You can't use it on the other, either of the other masks because they're kaolin based and they're going to block the light. Right. And is the six, like the one that you send them home with, is it the 6.8 fluid ounce? Is this the retail size or no? What is that? Uh, oh, that's a cleanser? Yeah. Yes, that's a retail size. Okay. The professional sizes are 16 ounces. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Hey, could you repeat that one more time? What, what's the name of the one that they go home with? Um, they're going to go home. I mean, okay, so if, if you're going to give them a cleanser, you would either give them the BioNet or the BioPurette, depending on their skin type. If they're dry and mature, they'll have the BioNet. If they're oily combination, they're going to have the Purette. You're going to give them the OxyGel for sure. Okay. The Bio Regard, which is the eye product, mm -hmm. and, a, and a cream. Either the Cocoon, which is that very, very nourishing, heavy moisturizer, mm -hmm. which I would say probably 85% of your clients are going to be on during the series because they're going to be healing. Yeah. It will so be, if you so desire. Mm -hmm. But even if you're going super light, by the third, they're gonna get some flaking. We're not talking mid-depth peel here, um, although you can get that if you so desire. Okay. Okay, great, thank you. Mm -hmm. we start Jody, if I remember correctly, didn't you and your friend attend our 2B bio class in, um, in Oakland? when we were doing in-person classes, yeah, and you took on the line, right? <laughs> then probably quickly got shut down because of the pandemic. <laughs> yep. Not funny. Not <laughs> funny, no. <laughs> but. So what can we expect to see in our skin? Will it be actually peeling or sloughing or flaky? Um, you'll probably get, well, you it possibly will get sloughing, yes. On how um, aggressive you went. Because remember, it's all in your hands on the pressure that you applied it, how long you left it on, the duration and the fluidity of the peel. And everyone's different. Um, every single time Julia gives herself one, no matter if I go very, very light, she always peels. Um, then I've done... Uh, the most aggressive possible on a client to demo and no peeling. So, you know, the spectrum is it's the same with any mid-depth peel. You can never say, oh, you are going to get peeling because it just doesn't happen with every single person. Um, but generally you're going, your skin is going to look very good. It's going to be very stimulated and oxygenated um, and you might get flaking. Another thing to keep in mind, so like right now, I'm not too red. I'm a little pink, but I'm not too bright red. I actually, like about an hour after the peel, my skin is glowing. I look revitalized. It's very bright and illuminated. And then about like four hours later, I get very flushed and very hot. It's like the spicules are working overtime. So don't be alarmed if tonight you're like, my skin is hot. It's hot to the touch. I'm bright red. That is completely normal. I find I'm reddest after this peel, not immediately after the treatment, but about four hours later. Okay. So, so we've just taken the mask off, right? Yep. That's it. Uh -huh. okay. So now we're going to do the oxygel. So being bright red after the treatment is completely normal, right? I'm completely like, normal. Completely. Okay. Almost everybody gets bright red. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm pretty pink. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Is this yes, going to stay on? Hi there. Yes, is this you're going to stay on. 
sorry. Is, will Go it ahead, stay on? Oh, sorry. Yes. Yes. Oxygel will stay on. Vicki, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I, I, Hi. My question, I'm, I feel still that there's kind of particles on my skin. Is that, that you're going to feel that yeah. till tomorrow morning. Those are the spicules that are embedded in the follicle and you want right. them there. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> that's what's going to create. That's the actual alternative to microneedling. Okay. And that is what is going to create the wound response. Okay. Um, there are other of these type of peels out Ooh. there. I don't know if any of you have used the shramic peel. Um, yeah, ages ago. Yeah. Or the green <laughs> peel. Super. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah, this is a much kinder, gentler. Um, it's it doesn't hurt, but you will always explain when you're um, when you're prescribing this treatment that they are going to feel a fiberglass like feeling in their skin for up to twenty four hours. Although they usually work themselves out within about ten hours. People like it. It's like you can feel them working. So now you're going to put your bio eye regard on. Bio. I just did serum. Was that right? Yep. That's right. So I did the oxygen and now we're doing the eye serum. Okay. Okay. And, and then again, has that pure for Declan. Yeah. The um, bio oxy oxy gel, they're just put whenever they feel hot or whatever, they could just be putting that on. Correct. Uh -huh. If I, and I, I went pretty aggressive on myself today. I pressed very hard. I let my peel dry a little bit more. I wanted that peeling. I might use that oxy gel five times today uh, just because it relieves that little prickling sensation. It feels and really good. It feels Yeah, really And then with the home care, it's just right. cleanse, tone, oxy gel, moisturize, and then SPF. So, Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes. And um, if your client is not going to be using the 2B bio, you're sending them home with the oxy gel, but they're not using 2B bio at home. They need to definitely stay away, obviously, from retin-A, retinol, glycolic, um, multi, very strong multi-fruit acids. Even lactics. I would just stay away from all acids. For at least 72 hours. And if they're not using the 2D bio product, if they have anything calming or nourishing, have them use that. So okay. in the circadia line, um, the, like the Cytocom, the Myocyte Plus, um, the Emergency Eye Serum, uh, the Aquaporin. Yeah, the, um, all of those would be fine. Um, then the, um, they're not, the calming products would be Tranquility Cream and Chronocom. Um, oh, okay. but the myocyte would be actually very good to use because that's a okay. Botox alternative. Um, not that night, really that night, you just want them to go home and use oxy gel. That's it. Okay. okay. The next morning they can cleanse their face and go through their process. I'm um, out of the oxy gel. Cause I just put it all on. Okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> um, just, I wish I would have bought it. <laughs> Okay, well, we, um, you'll be fine. You just won't have any to reapply. Well, that's so what we're gonna doing. You're going to be fine, like, you know. Yeah, I try to give everyone enough for a couple applications so you can reapply. If you use it all in one go, that's fine. If you have a calming serum at home, you can use that tonight or you can just I do. I have the um, Chronocom. I would suggest not using anything tonight from another brand. Just let okay. your skin be. You're going to be fine. Um, I can give you my cell phone number. So if you have a question, you can text me, Michelle. I can email Fantastic. it to you. Um, but you'll be fine. Okay. And now we just, um, I just applied the biohydrate. This is the uh, moisturizer for more oily skin tones. This is the professional size. Yeah, Jill? I'm confused. Um, so right after the peel, what were we supposed to put on? So right after the peel, we toned with the Biodusar to get any other residue off. Then you either masked with the NZ scrub or the Bionutrition. You decided what mask you wanted to use. Then you removed the mask. You applied the Oxy Gel, then the Eye Regard, then the moisturizer. And I printed the PowerPoint for everybody. And so to, for your review, it's all in there. I oh. included it in I didn't kit. get that one. I guess I didn't get it. <laughs> or, it should have been in all the paperwork. Yeah, all this, the, uh, it has all the, what they're saying, it has every instruction and everything they're saying and the steps and everything. 
and I can email it to you. Okay, that'd be it. great. <laughs> if it's someone with all the material in there. If someone okay. was scheduling a Botox, how long would they have to wait till after this peel? At least a week. To, uh, we don't want it. I mean, uh, you never know if uh, an injection is just because it looks like it healed. It might not be. Um, so you're going to wait at least a week. Okay. Um, and with fillers, I would wait at least two weeks um, because it's not going to feel nice pressing down hard on an area that was um, just had a filler injection. I oh, did. I was to... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. Or whoever. <laughs> I don't think I have, I have something that has uh, like lines on it, um, a form with. That's uh, the PowerPoint. Those lines are where you write the notes, your notes. Oh, okay, okay. All right, okay, I guess I'm confused. And then so after we did the bioenzyme scrub, we removed it and then we put the bio oxy gel. Yep. So you should have something that looks like this. Yeah. And okay. then there's lines and that's where you can take notes from what okay. we've written. So about three quarters of the way through, it has step-by-step -step directions. But yes, okay. after you remove the peel, then we did the biodesur, which is the floral toner. Yes. Did the Enzy scrub or the nutrition mask, mm -hmm. then the oxy gel, and then the finishing cream. Okay. And this and the eye cream, can I go over the top of my eye? Yes, you can. can. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> no, Carla? that's all. <laughs> My question is, I did it more aggressively, which uh -huh. was wonderful. So I really felt it. I didn't think it was aggressive until I rinsed it. And I was like, oh my God. Right, so, that's, when, that's when you're gonna feel it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. But um, even though I did the oxy gel, I still feel it. Like it Oh, you're going to. You're going to feel oh, okay, it good. I did it okay. a little aggressively too, and my skin is still very stimulated. Oh, so okay. so let me clarify, the oxygel brings, uh, it's a gas carrying molecule that brings oxygen to the cell and help removes carbon dioxide that's build up and helps with the tingling, okay? It's common mm -hmm. that you're gonna feel this for 10 hours. Oh, Even okay. tonight while you're sleeping, you will feel it. Okay. Um, by tomorrow morning, they should be expelled you're probably going to want to sleep on your back um, just because a pillow you, yeah. you won't hurt you to sleep on the side, but anything that touches it will remind you that there's a spicule in your skin. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to use, uh, uh, if, if I have circadia on hand, you know, that's what I'm using my general skincare. Uh -huh. Would I get up in the morning and do my almond eating cleanser, my um, blueberry white tea mist? Yes. You, what yeah. you wouldn't do is nighttime repair Pear, nighttime I don't use that or vitamin A. Yeah, I this is why I really like this, the alternative. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Same. How's everyone's skin How's, feeling? Oh. <laughs> nice and stimulated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a question? Oh, sorry. Um yes. the the bio defense, that's okay to use afterwards, right? That is a sun protection. So okay. So a lot of those, um, two of them are BB creams. Uh -huh. So if you don't want your client to leave with any type of red, feel free to use those because it'll cover it, but it will force your client to cleanse her skin tonight because they're not going to want to be sleeping in SPF or in tint. Okay. So personally for me, I like to schedule these in the evening and they just go home. They don't do anything else. But if you do schedule it during the day, they, you must wear sun protection. Okay. So and for us, if we're not going outside, can we just fine. have this be till tomorrow? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jody? And the bio gel, they can reapply it as much as they want. Throughout. Correct. Yes. Okay. Just to add like for soothing. Mm -hmm. Soothing and, and just uh, drenching the skin in oxygen. Okay. Uh, and how much are these? The oxy gel, I've grabbed the face list. Hold on. Let's Sorry. <gasps> And how soon can you get them to me? Because I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. Well, keep in mind that we have all the kits on sale right now. Oh, okay. um, so you can either go and purchase a kit or because I know you already have a kit, you can just place an order and say, put a rush on it and I can get it out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And then if they're buying, just say they just want to come in for the beauty treatment or one treatment. 
Uh -huh. they, they still need to go home with the oxy gel. Yes, or, you're either gonna you, you you're either gonna send them home with a sample of yours. It comes in a professional size. Okay. Or you're gonna include the cost of one in your treatment. Um, your cost is fifty two dollars. So most likely you're gonna if they're having a beauty treatment, you're gonna invest in the professional size, and you're gonna incorporate that into what you're charging for the treatment. And you're gonna send them home with a sample. Kelly, the kit you were referring to, is that for the, the home care or is that the peel kit? Okay, so let's talk about the kits that we have on sale right now. So we have um, two starter kits, which has one for mature dry, one for oily. That's everything you need to give the treatment in a retail size. Um, and it includes four peels with the prep. Um, ultimately, that'll increase the cost of your service because you're paying for retail packaging, but it'll give you four full treatments plus extra cleanse, tone, uh, enough prep for 50 treatments. Um, it's just the creams and the masks are only, get, the masks is only enough for eight masks in a retail size. And then you can go ahead and start as those run out, you can replace them with professional size products. So that's one way to get going for a lesser cost. If you know you love the treatment and you wanna start offering it right away, we have the professional starter kit. That's everything you need. It's everything, it's the whole entire line. Um, in the professional in size. In the professional size with a box of 30 peels. They come, um, we do sell the peels separately for $12. You have to call us for that. We don't have them on the website sold separately. Um, and that big kit is 15% off and it'll give you everything for probably 50 to 60 treatments. Um, but you just get 30 of the peels. And I think it's on sale for $1,000, right around $1,000. Also keep in mind for the other starter kits that have the retail size of the product that do come with the four peels, you can purchase that and then also purchase a box of the 30 peels. Um, so that's also an option for you. And also keep in mind, once you purchase a kit, you don't need to keep purchasing kits every time. Once you have done the initial purchase of the kit, there are no minimums. Then you just go in and buy what, what you need. ever run out of. Yeah. And how, how much is the starter kit? Um, the, well, they're on sale, but the retail starter kit for dry and mature is 377. I think it's on sale for 330. Um, and the acne oily is 369. Um, and it's on sale for around 329. It's all on the website. I, I can't remember. Um, the professional starter kit, I can run and go get you the prices. It's right around a thousand dollars. It's a thousand sixty. Thank you. <laughs> <Thanks, Rachel. laughs> right specials. Um, if you know you love your treatment, love this treatment, that is going to get your cost per treatment um, as low as possible by buying the professional sizes and saving 15%. And then does that, with the professional or with any of the kits, does that include, you still have to buy your uh, client's product separate? Correct. Yes. So that's okay. just what you need to give the treatment. The retail okay. products are purchased separately. Um, we do have a um, call me because we have a specific kit that's not on the website. That's 20% off that includes the retail products. I just didn't put it on the website because I don't want people repurchasing that over and over and over again. Um, okay. It's not a starter kit. So just call me and I'll go through it all with you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. If we're going to peel, when would we notice? When would about that start? Day. Yeah, about your, it's going to act like a regular peel. You're going to feel very tight. And then I usually start peeling, peeling around the second or third day. So is this equivalent to um, the lactose uh, uh, circadia peel? The no. lactic peel? No, definitely yes. not. This is much lactic more acid. <laughs> Sorry. It'd yeah. be more equivalent to like the vitamin A and the Mendelic. Okay. So it's stronger. It's yes. much stronger. Yeah. Yes. But keep in mind, it doesn't, if you go very gentle on yourself, then it, it it's which is kind of what I did, right? Cause it didn't heat up enough. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you, okay. uh, Michelle, you're probably not going to peel. Okay. Um, which is totally fine. Uh, are you feeling the specules in your skin? Yes. So you're getting but the I'm kind of used to that feeling anyways. You know, it doesn't yeah. bother me. 
keep in mind you, you don't need to peel to get improvement results, this yeah. isn't this isn't about peeling this is about the spicule being embedded in the follicle and then what that does is it creates a wound <laughs> response your mm -hmm. body generates atp to try to heal the wound thereby pushing out volumes of collagen. Um, and then the massaging port is abrasive, right? So it's the microdermabrasion portion of the treatment and it's gonna help with the scarring. Okay. Fantastic. Carla, dog kisses would be considered something not to do <laughs> after a <laughs> deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it tastes good or smells good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's two. We have two, two at home that like to give dog kisses. <laughs> well, I, I would be really appreciative if you could maybe if you could text me um, tonight. Um, what your two names? I'm Kelly and this Kelly is and yeah. yeah. I was talking. I've been talking to Kimberly, so okay. it's Who's nice to meet you, Kelly her? and Julia. Julia. Okay. Yeah. Mother and daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. <laughs> so um, Michelle, just go ahead and send me an email. Okay. with your cell phone and then okay. I will text you back. Sounds great. And is your email on here? Um, it's or on just... the price list. Um, okay. And it's all over our website. It's just customer service at California Skin Care Supply. So I've already emailed. Okay. okay. Yep. Sounds great. Yes. Any is it okay to wash my hair tonight? In cool water. Yeah, as you long cannot as it's not a hot shower. shower. Okay, sure. So if you mm -hmm. want to take a hot shower, wait till tomorrow morning. Got it. Okay. Anybody, anybody else? Yeah, Jody. Jody? Um, I know you said that when you use it for cystic acne and it brings it to the surface, do you do extractions? No. This does your extractions for you. It just brings it to the surface and really they just open right then and there. Okay. And then so your experience has been that they just kind of come to the surface and express themselves. Express themselves <laughs> and then it heals on its own. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's with me explicitly targeting the pustule and going around it multiple times. Okay. Um, if it's, it is also uncomfortable for the client, right? If she's, it's not something that I'm definitely encouraging. Um, it's just something of, I've experienced. If your client will allow you to do that and she wants you to bring everything to the surface and open, then go ahead. It's not going to damage the skin, but it is uncomfortable for your client. All right, thank you. As you can imagine, yep. So going back to our normal regime is after 72 hours? I would say tomorrow is fine. If okay. you're not using like anything retinols, with acids, if you're just using the products that you said from Circadia. Like no Revitacite. Yeah, no Revitacite. Revitacite's fine. fine. Yeah. Revitacite. And then the C reversal serum. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And okay. When can you start using the retinol products? How many days? I would wait at least 72 hours. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> I have questions, but I'm gonna um, call you in a couple days because I wanna start seeding this on social media. Okay. Um, and see how many people are gonna like, the, the, a whole bunch of people want a series. So it'll so kind Carla, of- So Carla, so everybody, um, on, we have a YouTube channel. Um, uh -huh. So I have two videos that I've done, um, actually three. Julia did one on herself, which is like 60 seconds. That's super cute and fun. Oh, you okay. Can share that to your Instagram. It's to music. Um, oh, yay. And okay. I, and, then it, and then I have a longer, like five or six minute one. You would have to share that to your IGTV. Okay. Um, which is much more, it's yes. more geared for the esthetician. Okay. Um, but the one, the real quick one, um, I think it's 60 seconds because I made it to fit on um, Instagram of Julia. Uh, you can find it, you can watch it um, on my website, but it's also on, you can share it from YouTube, which is just, our YouTube channel is just California Skincare Supply. Yay. Okay, great. Because um, yeah, if I start seeding it, I'm afraid I'm going to buy something that's going to be like $200 and then a hundred people call me and I should have bought the thousand dollar one. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I, I'm going to do that. And then um, yeah, and then I'll have some questions and I'll call you and then I'm going to order. I'm so excited okay. about this. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind that the kits are only on sale till Wednesday. So Wednesday, try to get Wednesday. them to the yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very good. I'll start. I'll start right now. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions?
Rachel? And do you still have like leftover? I, I keep feeling like leftover from the pill around me. You're fine. Like, are you I'm talking fine. about the spicules you're feeling uh, or the yeah, actual the pill. pill? The pill. I well, get that too. Like I get that in my eyebrows or sometime like in my hairline. That's totally fine. Just take They'll a little piece off. of gauze and get it wet and just and work then, it off. I don't mind it. I just know if a client's like, ah, it's still in me. I'd be like, oh, that's fine. Then just take a yeah, piece of yeah. it water and remove it oh. um, around the hairline, especially yeah. Um, yeah, the before eyebrows. they leave. You're always going to want to go around the hairline and make sure you've removed it. Okay. Perfect. Ooh. But it's not going to hurt them. No, it won't hurt okay. them, but it might bother them. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ju Julia, how often do you do this? I've done it in a cure um, multiple times. times. So yeah. once a week it actually really helped because I had a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in this area. So I think about a year ago, I did it twice, it, twice a year for six weeks at a time. Um, now, because that hyperpigmentation has been more treated, I just probably do it about once every couple months. Okay. Whatever. And what's the shelf of life of the pro product? Is it two to three years? Um, the peel really doesn't have an expiration date because it's sealed by Gamma Ray. All the rest of the products have at least two years. Okay, great. Oh. This what helps with the indentation of acne too, the little pop marks? Right. Yes, very okay. much. Oh, good, okay. You would go harder on them then, Carla. If you're dealing with okay. scarring or a pitted scar, um, just, pitted scar, that's the word. Yes, you would go harder on them and you would do it in a series. Jody, okay. question. Oh, I was going to say, do you have a recommendation of like how much to price the peel for? So yes, um, if you're just doing one, it's going to be, we recommend pricing it anywhere from 250, 225 to 275, depending on where you're located. If you're doing it in a series, you're going to price it around 185. Uh, a treatment? Yeah. Okay. Anywhere from 175. For the Bay Area, where, where are you? Are San Francisco. You? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you would price it, what you would price a microdermabrasion, microneedling treatment for. To Bandy, but this is more of a, some people when you're doing microneedling, that's all you're doing. This is a complete facial. Does anyone have any other questions? Are we good? We're good. Yep. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining us, you guys. Um, create an account on our website, share our videos, call us, like us, follow us. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you. you. Yep. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. It was Thank wonderful. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.